Okay, I know you can see me okay now. I've got a lot of light shining in on me. I'm trying to stop any shadows from hitting on this board. Uh, I shot a whole bunch of video yesterday, and what happened was the furnace kept coming on, and it doesn't sound bad when I'm standing in here. It sounded terrible on the camera, so I had to, had to trash all of the videos. Uh, I did, was able to keep one. I was able to keep one because the video was off. But I wanted to show you, somebody had asked me about skip trowel. Now what I've done is I grabbed a piece of drywall and I put the brown side up so you can see see what it looks like better on the brown side. And by no means am I an expert at skip trial. By no means. I've done some. In fact, if you go to the Good Samaritan Hospital in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, you and you walk into any of the electrical closets on any of the 12 stories, the 12 floors, and you walk in there, you'll see that they were all fire taped and skip troweled. I did that. I did all of the fire taping and all the skip trial in all of those closets for the 12 stories high that they are. But, uh, where is it? Where is it? I know it's in here someplace. What I wanted to do was, was do a little skip trial on here. Somebody asked me, what's the best mud to use? I prefer, if I'm going to skip trial an entire house or an entire basement, or, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 sheets of drywall, I'm going to grab the, the aggregated wall texture I'll put a I'll put a picture of it up in here right now uh, but if I can't get that if I'm doing a lot of skip trial and a lot of wall textures spray orange peels knock down skip trial I'm doing a lot of wall textures I, I really like the aggregated wall texture way more than the unaggregated um, a lot of people don't prefer it but I do and now if I don't have that and I can't get that and truthfully up in the Chicagoland area it's not really everywhere around here because there's very little texture here. I'm going to just grab a couple of boxes of cover coat or however many I think I need and I'm going to add some sand to it. And it's really important that you, your sand is consistent. So maybe in a, in a big box or a five gallon bucket of, of mud, I might throw in maybe a half a cup or a cup of sand. You can throw in a whole cup of sand, but make sure you stay consistent Otherwise, the textures and the heights might be different in areas. So make sure you're consistent with that. And I've got some really, really fine sand here. And all I'm going to really do right now is I'm just going to mix up a little pan. Now, if you can't get the cover coat, again, there'll be a picture of the cover coat here. Just grab the all-purpose compound. USG. USG all-purpose. If you, if you can't find the cover coat and you can't get that, you should be able to get an all-purpose compound. And, and it's not a lightweight. And to know it's not a lightweight, just pick it up. Some of it's heavier. And the reason they have it heavier and lighter is there's more adhesive in this. But don't get this mixed up with topping. Topping is completely different. If it says topping on there, it doesn't have very much glue. And also, before you do any texturing whatsoever, make sure that your surface is clean. It doesn't have any dust, flakes, whatever you want on it. Because I'm telling you, I did, a, I completely sprayed a, compo a popcorn ceiling on a house up here. He didn't like it. It was some bad plaster on there. It was flaking and peeling off. I cleaned it up the best I could. I sprayed popcorn on there. And then the next day, you could just come through and remove it all. It, it all came down. I... I didn't know better. I was young. I, I just didn't know better. Uh, today I would have primed it and sealed it really well before I would have done any texture. And I would do that up here too. I would prime it and seal it very well. But I'm not going to have any problems with this stuff sticking to this surface. This is a clean surface. It's going to adhere to it really well. This is an all-purpose compound. And I'm going to mix up a little bit and I'm going to skip trial this. So bear with me. This particular all-purpose has already been thinned down. It's not super, super thick, okay? But it's not super, super thin either. And in the size, the thickness of your skip trowel is going to depend on the, the size of the sand. If you're just using thick play sand, you're going to have a thick texture on there. And it's going to be the, the thickness of your mud. If your mud's thicker, it's going to be thicker. If it's thinner, it's going to be thinner. So this is kind of pretty consistent right here. I kind of like the feel of this mud. I think it's going to skip trowel pretty easily. But 
Now, I just grabbed a little handful of sand. I don't know if you can see me putting the sand in there. It doesn't take much. I'm just going to throw a little bit in there. Matter of fact, that's too much. So I'm going to throw some away. And I'm just going to mix up a little bit of this by hand. And I will also keep these tools, this brush, all of the stuff that I'm, I'm using this with, with the sand, I'll keep this away from my regular drywall mud because I don't want to pump. I don't want to get sand in my pumps, in my bazooka. I don't want to get it into my other tools. It just leaves scratches and creates all sorts of problems. But, uh, but if I plan on doing this now and skip troweling this. Now, I found, I found that these knives, though I very, very, very seldom use them, work great for skip trowel. They really do. And my biggest problem, guys, I, I know I'm hoping some of you skip trawlers out there can, can help me with this. My biggest problem is the start off. When I start off, I, I always tend to leave this big line. So I gotta be careful when I'm starting off. Okay? But yes, I am not a professional when it comes to this. But that's how I will do it. And I will work it and fix it. And you know, if I have a big bald spot, I'll try to put that in there. But this is how I do it. Okay? Now I have seen guys, I have seen guys who are skip trial experts, just absolutely experts at this stuff. And when they do it, they don't do it like I do. Uh, I'll show you how I've watched them do it. And they're out there. These guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome when it comes to skip trial. And I've got a skip trial knife. Believe it or not, I own one. And this is it. This is my skip trial knife. And I've watched these guys grab a skip trial knife like this and do 12 feet. One wipe, knock out 12 feet. So, and my pan is the size of this knife. This is a 16 inch knife. This is a 16 inch pan. And so my pan is the size of the knife. And then, this works too. And this is what I would do if I had an entire house to do. I would grab this. I'd have just a little bit of mud on the edge, like that. And then, I would lay it down. And, uh, but again, I am nowhere near as efficient as these guys who do this. Now what I'll do is I'll come back through. I might come back through with a smaller knife and say, oh, I'm a little light here. Let's put a little bit more here. Uh, let's put a little bit more here. I have an edge here. And, I, and I'll come back through and I'll touch it up. But that's that's a skip trowel. You know, us, us smooth wall finishers, that's a mess. <laughs> to us, that's a mess. I mean, I, you very seldom would see that up here. People just don't do it. Uh, but I do know they do it every a lot of other places. And a builder of mine, he's buying a house up north, and he says that's all they do up there. Um, and he said, uh, he goes, I'm going to have to watch this video uh, because he's going to have to do it. But there you have it. That's how I would skip trowel, right or wrong. If you have any questions, uh, or if you have suggestions, guys, I know a lot of you guys who are professional skip trawlers might actually see this video. So if people are asking questions, please don't hesitate to answer the questions for them. All right, you guys have a great day. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.